After so much drama, heartache, and deceit, episode 10 of High Tide starts this finale with Louise's mom deleting Don's number and all the messages on her daughter's phone. However, Don himself breaks into the bar and finds Jack on the floor, passed out. Don starts CPR to resuscitate him, but it's fruitless. He's dead. Don is overcome with grief, given everything he's been through and messages Alex, letting him know about Jack and how happy Patrick will be when he hears this. What does Alex do when he wakes up? As for Alex, he wakes up and fingers the gun in his hands. He's shocked when he learns about Jack and shows up at the bar, just as he's taken away by paramedics, a sheet over his body. Don is livid and confronts Alex, pointing out that all of this seems mightily convenient. With Jack out the picture, it means the club is officially his. Alex brings up Claudia and eventually pushes Don to the ground, telling him to go home and that summer is over. He even spits on him for good measure too. When he leaves, Don grits his teeth, blood dribbling from his nose. What happens between Eleanor and Melissa? Eleanor shows up to see Don's mom, Melissa, and admits she's been lying. Patrick killed Claudia. Eleanor refuses to phone the police, though, but comes up with an alternate plan. She knows someone who can make him confess to the crime. A friend. She won't be able to bring her sister back, but hopefully this will get the truth and some closure. I just need a little time, she says. Memories of the past swarm around the gallery, especially as there's now video proof sent to Christine of her affair with Patrick. When Margot shows up, She's concerned over Eleanor being here, and when she brings up the affair, Christine grabs her daughter by the mouth, tells her to be respectful, and ushers her away. News of Jacques' death reaches Louise and the others at the party. Alex shows up with a cut lip, drawing attention from his mom who tells him to get cleaned up. He's completely nonchalant toward Louise and ignores Melissa too, telling them both that he's great. An angry Don shows up back home and tells Anouk about what's transpired. He's angry and desperate to find his phone. He ignores Anouk's pleas for him to stop, but when he mentions Louise and how selfish she is, including how she doesn't care, Don listens and decides to go see her personally. What happens at the party? Over at the party, Christine is forced to attend the party with Margot, with Patrick arriving at any moment. Of course, Eleanor is about to blow everything out the water. Louise heads upstairs and speaks to Alex. The latter has booked tickets for the pair to head off to Uruguay. He wants her to come with him. She refuses, though, despite choosing him, and unfortunately things take a nasty turn when Alex tries to force himself on her. She eventually pushes him down and tells him he's as pathetic as his father. Alex, distraught and angry, stews in his own mess. In fact, he grabs the gun from the cabinet and remembers how abusive his father is, trying to decide on his next move. How does Alex get his revenge? Patrick arrives at the party, unaware of all the bad blood that's brewing and what could potentially be coming his way. Alex uploads the video of his dad and Christine to everyone at the party, while Louise decides to leave with Don when he shows up. Despite her mother pleading with Louise to take her pills, she leaves all the same. And as she does, Christine slaps Eleanor, calling her a coward and leaving. As for Alex, he swaggers down the stairs and toasts the family to love. He calls Patrick a scumbag and how abusive he is. Patrick chases Olivia upstairs, and the poor kid is traumatized after watching the video, locking herself in the bedroom. The entire family has been exposed, and Olivia struggles to get her breathing under control. What happens to Patrick? She locks the door, so Patrick turns his attention to Melissa, grabbing her by the throat. However, it turns out Patrick didn't actually kill Claudia. They were having a fight out on the balcony, and Alex was the one who got involved and bumped her over the edge. Eleanor saw all of this and decided to blame Patrick for it. With a gun in hand, Olivia points it at her dad and pulls the trigger, shooting him in the head. While all this is going on, Don and Louise stand out together as the sun sets. 
They just stare at one another as Louise feels tears welling up in her eyes. I'm sorry, she says, before turning and leaving. She's made her decision and decided that this isn't for her after all. In the end, Anouk was right and Louise's loyalties lie elsewhere. The Episode Review Well, it's been coming for a while and now we see the true extent of betrayal play out in dramatic fashion on screen. Olivia being the one to pull the trigger and kill Patrick is pretty shocking, although perhaps poetic as the one person to actually stop the rot and prevent this abuse from continuing. The fallout from all of this is still unknown and the cliffhanger ending is certainly annoying, given what we've seen across the runtime. However, the show has 